Self-perception in the workplace refers to how one sees oneself professionally and how that perception impacts their behavior and interactions with others in their work environment. It includes factors such as one's level of confidence, skills and abilities, personalities, values, motivations, and how they perceive their role within the organization. A positive self-perception can lead to increased job satisfaction, better performance, and better relationships with colleagues, whereas a negative self-perception can lead to self-doubt, lack of confidence, and poor performance. It is important to regularly assess and improve your self-perception to ensure you're bringing your best self to your work and achieving your goals. So join us in this four-part series where we're going to dig deeper into perception, confidence, self-expression, and motivation. And as Jamil always says, and that's on me. Take control of your career and compensation right now. It's your five-minute career cat. We all can relate to the motivation that comes from proving someone wrong. Whether they said you couldn't, you would never, or was highly unlikely, the moment you achieved it, oh my gosh, right? It felt amazing. Let's all be real with ourselves. Redemption actually feels good, but the feeling doesn't last. And I'm not going to lie. You know what? I'm, don't get me wrong. Being able to say, I told you so, being able to have the last word, or eating from a table that your opponent said that you would never get to feels great but it's fleeting. And it wasn't until I heard a clip from Coach Larson, Duke's women's basketball coach, did I see motivation as this alternative to redemption. I didn't see them even on the same spectrum, right? She shared this deeply reflective perspective in an after game speech. The act and pursuit of proving people who believe in you right is the most sustainable form of motivation. So if you're struggling today, I want to offer you this type of motivation. Let's talk about it. I mean, I couldn't agree with her more. I mean, when I think back on the most consistent motivation that I've had, it was proven to people right in my life that loved me the most, supported me, and genuinely know, not knew, know and see me as a winner, even when I lose and fail, and mess up and get it wrong, right? So let's let's dig deeper, right? There is so much uncertainty in the economy, and with layoffs dominating the headlines, the conversations are not all positive. There's no need to sugarcoat it, and I won't do that with you. You might be feeling the pressure and the uncertainty, but that's normal. But you have more control than you could ever imagine or could think of. Having a strategic plan, career map, and a strong professional brand are key to navigating a shaky job market. Having your head down and only focused on doing a great job to keep your job isn't enough. If you're ready to take control of your career and compensation, regardless of what the economists are saying, the news or the layoffs surrounding you, then you need to join our community today. A synergy exists when you have coaching, networking, and support in your career. Click the link in description to learn more. And most importantly, release some of the anxiety about what's next. We can't wait to see you. I want to offer to you this week the idea of being easily motivated. I love that hashtag, but I can't say that I came up with it, right? I picked this up from my cousin, Derek Johnson, who was an amazing high school, college, and NFL player, and I think even more amazing all-around guy, right? But during his time of playing, he would often post pictures with this hashtag. He was shared in interviews, but even more so, he played each play with that hashtag easily motivated. He played with a tenacity and he came back with a tenacity from an injury, multiple injuries that should have been career ending. He came back with a motivation that would seem peculiar to most, but simply put, it was a choice to take this posture of motivation, a posture of I get to do this, not I have to do it. Now, everyone doesn't feel that way about their job, but can you? Can you change your mindset? Can you be intentional around making sure that you see the good in yourself? Okay. Now this week, I want to provide you with five hacks to help you improve your motivation in your career and take on a posture of hashtag easily motivated. Now, number one, set clear goals. Having clear goals can help you stay focused on what's most important in your career. It will help you stay motivated, but make sure your goals are specific measurable, 
achievable, relevant, and time bound, right? You probably have heard a SMART acronym. Use that with your motivation as well. Number two, create a positive work environment. Don't put that on someone else. You create a good environment. Make your environment enjoyable. Surround yourself with positive people. If you can decorate your workspace, you can listen to soothing music during that time or use something to help you stay focused, it's a good one, right? Number three, keep learning. Don't wait for someone else to provide information for you. Continuous learning is a great way for you to stay motivated. So if you can attend conferences, okay, you have the budget for that, but you know what you can do? Read books. The library always is free. You can take courses. There's so many on YouTube. You can stay informed about your industry trends just using Google. This is called upskilling. Check out that podcast as well. Number four, take breaks. Taking breaks can help you recharge and stay motivated. So many people are burnt out and stressed out because they don't take regular breaks throughout the day whether that's the month, the quarter, throughout the year to disconnect from their work. Number five, celebrate your success. Don't expect anyone else to recognize you more than you do. No matter how small, you can, it can help you stay motivated just to reflect on the progress that you're making or sustaining. So recognize your achievements and use them as a source of inspiration for future goals. So today, I hope you make an intentional choice to be motivated for you, for yourself, and but for those that believe in you. Remember them. You can prove them right. And feel free to use the hashtag easily motivated. Now the five minute career hack, we call this hacking. Look at you, you just did it. And you don't have to stop here. Take one step every week and ensure that you are pouring into you and getting closer to your career goals. Yep, you see that button down there? hit subscribe, but don't stop there because you know what they say, sharing is caring. So take five and we'll see you next week.